And now it's time for pH, which stands for the power of hydronium. Now technically, the pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. But for this video, we're not going to get into the real hardcore mathematics of it. We're going to take a look at pH in very simple terms. For a more mathematical treatment of pH, stand by. A video will be coming. Did you know that water dissolves in itself? It's true. Water molecules can actually be torn up by other water molecules. This doesn't happen very frequently. The concentration of this in neutral pH water is only 10 to the negative 7th molar. That negative 7 there is where we get our pH of 7 from. Because the negative log of the hydronium concentration is 10 to the negative 7th molar. Negative log of that is 7. Acids have to have a hydronium ion concentration of more than 10 to the negative 7, which means the pH will be less than 7. For example, 0.1 molar HCl has a 10 to the negative 1st molar H3O plus concentration. Negative log of that is 1. A 0.01 molar HCl solution has a 10 to the negative 2nd. 10 to the negative 2nd molar hydronium ion concentration, that's a pH of 2. A 1,000th molar HCl has a 10 to the negative third molar H3O plus concentration, that's a pH of 3. And you can see, based on this, converting it into scientific notation, you just take the exponent, reverse its sign, and that gives you the pH. This only works for, I'm going to use some technical terms here, monoprotic acids that have 100% ionization in water. What that means is there's one hydrogen, monoprotic, and it's a strong acid. In other words, when you put it in water, it completely ionizes. See, because if it didn't completely ionize, then not all of this stuff would dissolve, and then you'd have to do some more complex calculations. Every minus one decrease in pH, therefore, is a tenfold increase in acidity. Notice that when we go from a pH of three to a pH of two, the acid gets 10 times stronger. We go from a pH of two to a pH of one, it's again 10 times stronger. If the difference is 2 in pH, then it's 100 times stronger, 2 powers of 10. So a pH of 10 is how many times more acidic than a pH of 3? Well, that would be 3 powers of 10 difference, 1 followed by 3 zeros, 1,000 times more acidic. And a pH of 4 is how many more times more acidic than a pH of 7? Same deal, 4 and 7 are 3 apart. That's one to the third power, or a thousand times more acidic. Bases have an H3O plus concentration that's less than 10 to the negative 7. For example, a tenth molar NaOH solution has a 10 to the negative 13th molar H3O plus. For those of you in advanced classes, this is because of Kw, the ionization constant of water, which we're not going to get into in this video. The pH of this, take 13, take negative 13 and reverse the sign, the pH is 13. 100th molar NaOH solution has a 10 to the negative 12th molar H3O plus concentration. Take the exponent, reverse the sign, pH of 12. 1,000th molar NaOH solution has a 10 to the negative 11th molar H3O plus concentration. Take the exponent, reverse the sign, pH is 11. So as you can see, every plus one increase in pH is a tenfold increase in alkalinity, or how basic it is. This is 10 times stronger than that, its pH is one more than that. So therefore, this base is 10 times stronger than that base, but 100 times stronger than that base. A pH of 10 is 4 powers of 10 different than a pH of 6, 1 followed by 4 zeros, 10,000 times more basic. pH of 4 versus a pH of 3, that's only 10 times more basic, only one power of 10 difference. Here's some more examples. If an acid has a pH of 3, what would the pH of an acid 100 times more acidic be? Well, we're going to, if this is 100, that's 2 powers of 10. We're going to drop this number by 2. That would be a pH of 1, would be 100 times more acidic than a pH of 3. Sample of base has a pH of 9. What would the pH of the base that's a thousand times more basic be? Thousand is three powers of ten. So we're going to raise this number by three. A pH of twelve is a thousand times more acidic than a pH of nine. 
And that's as far as we need to take pH in a Regents Chemistry course. Stay tuned for more advanced stuff where we actually calculate the pH of a solution later on in the year.